Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day, and today we're going to talk about money in dreams. What does money mean? How do you interpret that? Uh, what it, what to look for when you have money appear in your dreams? So like I said before, uh, when you're interpreting dreams, you want to look at kind of the form and function of that symbol, and then how does that apply back to my mind? How does that apply back to my thoughts? so that I can have a better understanding of myself and who I am and how I'm thinking and how my thoughts are producing things in my life. So uh, one thing that you also want to remember that I talked about is uh, what things mean in dreams. And uh, things, which money is a thing, is a thought form. A thing will will represent a, a formed thought that you have in your mind. And so what money symbolizes is value. That's its form. That's it. That's its function is is. To, to show value. I p- give you this much money for this item because that's how much I value that. And I might not purchase something because the price that you set for it, I don't value it that high. So I'm not willing to pay that for that item because I don't value it that much. So money is a form in, in our physical lives to show how much we value things in exchange for other things. And as I've said before, every person, place, or thing in a dream is a part of yourself. So everything in a dream has to do with you. So when money comes up in a dream, it's about your own value, your self-value, your self-worth. And so what you want to do is take a look at how is the money showing up in your dream? You know, is it in the form of a big check that you just got and you're really excited? That will kind of symbolize all of a sudden discovering more of your own value and how much you're, you know, discovering this new self-worth made you feel. Or is it, you know, a dream where you go to the bank and none of your money's there, you know? And so that would kind of symbolize having to search and find your own value. You're not really seeing your own self-worth. You're not really seeing the value that you have for the world and for yourself and your life. Or, or are you having a dream where, you know, someone's trying to rob you of your money? And so, like I said, every person, place, or thing is a part of yourself. So no matter who it is, whether you know them or not, in the dream that's trying to rob you, it's, it's just showing you a reflection in the way you're using your mind that is robbing yourself of your own value. You know, for example, like, are you talking down on yourself? Are you putting yourself down, calling yourself stupid, calling yourself dumb, calling yourself fat, calling yourself lazy? You know, are, are these, these are ways that we use our thoughts to rob ourselves of our own value. And so when you have a dream like that, what you want to do is wake up the next day and start building yourself up. Start adding your value. Telling yourself, how, you know, I smart, I as important. You know, just tell yourself these things because a belief, you know, is a thought that you continue to think. So as you continue to tell yourself these new thoughts that build on your value, then you'll begin to believe that you have more value, and then those thoughts will produce things in your life to where you will then have evidence of your value, to where you'll then know that your value is more important, and then you. You'll go to sleep that night, walk in, and all of a sudden, you know, you have a bank account and you look at your phone and look at check the account and it has thousands of dollars more than you than you previously thought. And you'll have a dream like that, symbolizing you've raised your own value. You've discovered more of your own value. Or you could be having a dream about where you're giving money to other things. And so you want to look at, you know, if you're buying something in a store, what is it that you're giving your value to? What is it you're giving your attention to? Because your attention is your most precious commodity. And so, you know, if you're giving money to a person, who are you giving money to? You know, what part of yourself are you feeding and valuing? You know, is it something productive or is it something unproductive? If it's something productive, you want to take a look at that, acknowledge it, and continue to reinforce it and and recreate that. If it's something unproductive, then you want to identify that to be able to cut that off and give your attention to something different that is more productive and building up and build something new within yourself instead of feeding something negative, you know? And so money is all about value. So when you have money in a dream, just look at your own self-worth, your own self-value, and use that dream to identify where you are with your own self-worth and value. Are you improving? Are you decreasing? Are you not so good? Are you great? And uh, any anything that's, you know, where you're not so great at something, your dreams are showing you that, then they're showing you that in a way to help you identify how to bring about a change with that. And any way that you're, you are doing great and you're improving, your dreams are showing you that to reflect to you how, what to continue to produce 
and continue to recreate in your life to keep going in that productive motion, to continue growing, to continue building. And so that's how you want to look at money in your dreams. And so I hope this video helps. Uh, even if it helps just one person, then it was a successful, productive video. And uh, I hope you continue dreaming, continue writing down your dreams, continue looking at the, at the symbols, continue just giving your attention to your dreams. Because what you give your attention to grows. And so the more attention that you give to your dreams throughout the day, the more uh, amazing your dreams will become at night. And so continue writing down your dreams as soon as you wake up, continue uh, looking for the meaning, identifying that in your life. And then the most important part, like I said, is taking that meaning and applying it then to your life to create change within your life and within yourself. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to. Check out the other videos on dreams and dream symbols or the other videos that we have on the page. And I leave you in peace.